the first few days of, of practicing with the group, doing the group sadhana, which wasn't, not terribly different, but different from my own, has really um, brought some passion back for what I have created as my own practice. Now it feels like it, like I understand. It just seems like a whole piece to me rather than do this pose that is not easy and do that pose that's not easy and do this breath that feels strange. It all feels real. It feels like a whole piece. And that's totally awesome. I'm really, again, really excited about my sadhana. And I feel, I feel a peace about it. I feel like everything is going to come the way it needs to if I just allow it. You get the time to just figure it out, basically. It's been fantastic, really good. As a teacher, I am definitely going to be able to bring that back home. And trying to get people to see that the answers, answers are within themselves and that it takes time to figure it out at the same time is not, it's not complicated. Learning to let go of what I think my morning sadhana needs to be or what a sadhana needs to be in general. Um, and I think what I've learned from that is just learning to let go of my preconceived notions and tuning into my intuition and seeing what that brings forth. And I think that that translates really well into my real life, too, so I can start, you know, approaching everything in my life without preconceived notions of what it needs to be and just let, I can just explore it and let it be whatever it is. Sitting with my meditation is something that's really challenging for me, but um, I know that it's really a good thing for me to quiet my mind and sit with it, so... I know that I need to bring that with me when I go home. And it's funny how just doing this, it seems to now come back full circle to now just knowing that what you know instinctively is all you really need anyway. Uh, and the simplicity in the not trying one way or the other is just really so 